What is the projector's role in the new earth? Ooh, I like that question. Sustainable, quantum aligned new earth. And what services can they provide? All right. So I'm going to actually give you guys a weird answer because this is a weird answer. When you look at the nature of the creative process, the human creative process, when we are in the process of manifesting things into our physical reality, before we manifest them into our physical reality, we actually hold the potential for manifesting something in our energy field. We call this the subtle body or the subtle body template. If you've ever had acupuncture or you've used homeopathy or essential oils or flower essences or any kind of energy work, those kinds of modalities are actually working on the subtle body level. If you have ever read or heard of the morphogenetic field, this is based on the work of, Dr. of, of Rupert Sheldrake, who is a conscious evolutionary biologist and an amazing, very, I think, insightful human being. That energy template holds, the, it's actually the blueprint for what you've manifested in your physical world. So if you go to an acupuncturist and let's say you have a pain in your knee, a good acupuncturist is going to be able to assess that there's a disruption in the energy template, the blueprint, the subtle body template of your physical form. And the good acupuncturist will be able to address that energy flow issue and handle it on the energetic level. Anytime we create something new in our world or in our bodies, our manifest reality, it's created first in that energy template or in that energy blueprint. I believe that the role of the projectors in the evolution of the new world is to first and foremost, for, first and foremost, because they are here to be wise about life force. Projectors know what's possible in the fulfillment of the potential for humanity. Projectors are here to hold the energy template of the evolving world in place. And one of the reasons why I personally believe that projectors get so burned out sometimes from seemingly doing nothing is not because they're not doing nothing because they're not. It's because they're constantly working on this energy grid, stabilizing it, keeping it clear, making sure that the template that's, be, that's already in place for this new world, they're holding that template in place. They're aligning that template. They're scrubbing it and keeping it clean so that it stays in the flow of the possibility of what's coming next. So that's what I think projectors are here to do. I would say the most important thing that any projector can do, and this is, if I get all my projectors to get this, then I could, uh, I could be happier about the pain of the projector. You have an incredibly precious and powerful and important role in the world. And if you could get the value of who you are and what you do, if you don't do anything else, we could just get the value of yourself, the preciousness of you as a projector and hold that value. Meaning don't let yourself be sidetracked by things that aren't right for you. Don't take any and all invitations just because you've got one. Take the right invitations that are worthy of you. Take the invitations that allow you to serve at your highest level. And value your cycles of rest, value your insights and your knowledge, and value yourself enough to wait for the recognition from the people who really get the preciousness of who you are. So that would be my response to that question.